Well guys, we're back. It's been a while. Um, apologies, I haven't put anything up in probably about two months now. Been moving out and all sorts. Finally all settled. I'm doing my first session today on my new lake. Um, just got caught in a nice rainstorm, so I'm absolutely soaked. Had to take my t-shirt off and everything. But yeah, we're about to get the rods out. Well, we're about to find some spots. Uh, the venue I'm on, Raysbury One, the North Lake. Gonna be spending the rest of the year here. And then, well, depending on how I get on, either move on or do another year, so on and so forth. I'm absolutely, absolutely buzzing to get on here and get fishing. Um, I've had a big walk around the lake, done two laps, stopped in a swim, uh, swim 16 called the Turfs, yeah the Turfs, seen a fish jump twice, quite a nice looking dark fish so we're starting off here. I don't know anything about the lake, never even wet a line in here before so we've got to find some spots and uh, stick a bit of bait out and then go from there. Um, if you don't follow me on my social media, my Instagram, Facebook, so on and so forth, I've left A1 Baits now and I'm on the Baitworks team. So I'm absolutely buzzing about that as well. And hopefully that bait's going to put a couple of the big girls on the bank for me. Um, it's something I've been looking for for a while and a relationship I'm looking forward to building with um, with Mark and the rest of the Baitworks team. So without further ado, we're going to find some spots and uh, yeah, get fishing. Right, we found the spots. Got two that are going out. All right, mate. Two that are going out, literally straight ahead of me. Or both on one spot. One to the left, obviously. And one to the right hand side. I've put the majority of the bait in the middle of the spot, so I'm going to be fishing the outskirts of the spot. Um, it's a big fish tactic, and there's a lot of big fish in here, so we're going to use that and hopefully uh, catch uh, the left rod. What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of the way. The left rod is 14 wraps out towards an island. Um, it's quite a silty area, but I've put a load of particle out, some Royal Marine on top of that, and uh, hopefully that's gonna bring some fishing up as well. I'm absolutely buzzing to be on this lake. Um, I'm fishing solely Royal, Royal Marine on this campaign on this lake. Um, a little bit of particle here and there, um, depending on the spot and the depth and obviously the wind because I don't want to be spotting out and then the wind carrying it 20 foot away from the spot. Um, but yeah, this is going to be Royal Marine. I've soaked it in some liquid fish. Um, yeah, it just looks mint and it stinks. And obviously I, I love the scent of um, scent from hell hook baits and that's got the scent from hell attractor in the base mix. So yeah, happy days. We're going to get some rigs sorted out. Um, get the rods all clipped up and then uh, yeah get fishing for my first session on Raysbury and uh, first session in a while it's, it's good to be back hopefully we can bank one of these lovely fish there's been a it's been some decent fish coming out last couple of days um, I think it's been two forties out that I know of there might be more who knows um, but yeah if the big ones are feeding Hopefully I can uh, chip up one of those. I know Mike's Mike's pet come out, not Mike's pet come out, and uh, paw print as well quite recently. So uh, <laughs> mistake to be on it. Um, yeah, let's get the rod done, and we'll come back to you. Got the rods out, they all went out first time, sweet as a nut, so I'm happy, um, I'm confident they're presented right. I've got some amazing bait out there, so hopefully we'll get a bite. Um, got new alarms, got rid of the delts, got new bobbins, uh, what else is new? I've already told you, as you can see, part of Team Bait Works now, um, so a big shout out to Mark and the rest of the team, um, thanks for the opportunity, I'm not going to let you guys down. I'm, absolutely buzzing to be part of a um, a bait company that's stood the test of time and their baits like even their original bait the Atlantic Heat it still smashes any other bait out of the water so why not happy days and sort of proud of myself for being approached by them and being taken on so 
hopefully we'll get some uh, lovely raspberry bangers to add to the album for myself and also for them. But yeah, we'll show you um, the lake and the new alarms and everything as well. Oh, where is that gone? Ooh. So, this is the turf swim. You can see the rod down there. It is, well, it is a double swim. But I'm being greedy. <laughs> Having the bivvy on this side. And the rods on this side. Just a bit of space. I like a bit of space. But yeah, right. Let's get down to the rods. Without tripping over and drowning. There we go. Those are the uh, ProLogic R2L bite alarms. R2L stands for Reactor Light. Obviously, I'm fishing a braided mainline. Yeah, I've got the sensitivity turned quite down, to be honest, uh, because it's quite windy today. But they look lovely. Built-in snag ears, loads of different sensitivity settings, tone settings, all sorts. I fancy the change from the Delks and yeah, they're, they're lovely. Fully waterproof as well, which is, well, not waterproof, they're James proof because I'm clumsy as anything and I'll probably drop them in the lake at some point, but at least I know if I get them out instantly, they'll work again. Um, they come with a lovely little receiver, a little pouch, well, rubber protective case. So yeah, hopefully that screams off um, and we get ourselves our first raspberry uh, banging carp. I'd be happy with a 10 rod bream, to be honest. It's been that long since I've been fishing just to get a bend in the rod. Oh, and obviously this little bugger. Yeah? What have you, what have you seen? Come here. Say hello. Look, what's this? Ooh. <laughs> Chasing flies or whatever he's doing. And you are. But yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do as well. Show you the uh, mixture of the bait. Royal Marine in a 15 mil freezer bait. Uh, got a little bit of the, um, well, I'll say a little bit. I got the whole bottle of the liquid fish in there. Uh, 500 mil or 300 mil? Just about that big. Put that whole one in there. Um, got some uh, maize in there and some hemp seed as well. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, that gets me a bite. Oh, it's looking lovely. There's quite a few people on. I'm not surprised. It's the low pressure. Nice. I think it's southwesterly today. But the air pressure is like 9, 980 or something stupidly low like that. Haven't seen much activity out in front of me. Well, since that fish I saw roll earlier, or twice, came out. So it's enough for me to sort of go on that and be like yeah I'll, I'll start off there it's a bit daunting on a new lake as you all know as soon as you start it's like well where do you start I've seen a fish so that's what I'm gonna go with but yeah we'll uh, leave it there come back to you in a minute I didn't bother showing you the rigs um, just because it was absolutely hammering it down and I wanted to get the rods out so I can Sit in the uh, it's the wind, so I can sit in the dry at the wall. So we'll see you soon, hopefully with a banging raspberry cart. If if not, uh, we'll throw the dog in the lake and see what happens. No, I'm joking. See you soon. And you gorgeous, huh? Hello, raspberry. Hello, storm. Got one rod just here, and the other two are literally straight out. This this area here is where I saw that fish jump because I was stood in the swim that over there, and come here and it jumped again. So it was around about here. Hopefully I'm fishing right near it. Um, yeah, it seems quiet. There's quite a few people on. There's a geezer over here, and one here. 
and a few, there's two down that way and then a three or four up the other end. I'm not sure if anything's been out today at all, but hopefully I've come along and uh, I'll empty the place. <laughs> I don't care if I catch or not, it's good to get the first session in and uh, hopefully we'll uh, pop me cherry, but we'll see. What are you looking at, handsome? Hello. Want sausage roll? Want one of these? Come here. Come on. Ooh. Want one of these? Come on, then. Come here. Yeah, I thought so. There you go, handsome boy. <laughs> oh, wish me luck, guys. Well, as you can see, it's calmed down a lot now. The rain stopped, the wind stopped. So it looks good. Gives me a chance to see if there's any fizzing or anything. Got a big, 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 big steak on the go. Yeah, that was a spot. Mm. Let's have some dinner and uh, stick a bit more bait out. Come on, the steak! Well, it's evening time. Uh, well, I think it's about nine, ten o'clock. The rods are back out. I had to run around and turn the lights on my van off um, and then start the van just to see if it had some juice left in it. So that's all right. And then come back, put the rods back out. It started raining again. Oh, it's been a nightmare. Well, not nightmare. It's just been a lot of work and a lot of effort. And hopefully we have a fish to show for it. We'll see. Um, I brung the rods in to 15 and a half wraps from 16 left rod's gone back out in the same spot but in the morning I'm going to put it to the as tight as I can to the left of the island um, but we'll see depending on what happens during the night and obviously early morning we'll uh, move that accordingly getting into the swing of things again um, we're going to keep this rolling hopefully weekly uh, on this uh, new venue Raysbury face dog yeah um yeah there's some amazing fish in here as you all know um and if you don't know anything about raysbury go on the rk leisure website um check it out it's it's the mecca it is amazing some of the fish in here and the history of this place it's just mental you're like the scene where they filmed james bond and they push the aston martin into the water and then just you got like old dredgers and obviously you've got dredger bay on the south like the ghost barge up the end over there it's just mental this place and hopefully I can get amongst some of the um, originals even the stockies in here are banging as well they're getting, getting a decent size I think one come out of 38 um, not long ago so it's a decent head of fish in here big fish as well and hopefully I can get amongst them well we'll see you in the morning um, fingers crossed first night on Raysbury let's try and bag a fish if not, we'll work at it and absolutely work our butts off tomorrow to get one. See you soon. Well, I've just woken up. Um, had a liner on the left rod and a liner on the middle rod. Um, see one fish roll halfway between me and the uh, middle rod's spot. So there's fish in the area, which is not bad. Hopefully they'll find the bait. Excuse the noise of the plane if you can hear it. But we're going to get some breakfast on the go. Uh, keep our eyes peeled because it's nice and calm out there. I'll show you in a second. Weather's completely the opposite to what it was yesterday. Hopefully we'll get ourselves one of these race break up. We'll see. Look at that. Beautiful. Completely different, <laughs> totally the opposite from yesterday. That fish that I saw roll was just about here. Come on, you blooming carp. Alright, as per usual, we'll keep you updated. Fingers crossed, and we'll see you soon. Alright, oh, quick update everyone. We've seen a fish. Yeah, this side of the island. I've just repositioned the left rod 
literally tied just here. Um, and it's warming up quite a bit, I'm sweating as you can see. Uh, my t-shirt still hasn't dried from yesterday. But that's, that to me, that island and that feature, it's quite deep, it's about six, seven foot deep, as close as I'm getting it. I don't want to go too close, because obviously it will get shallower as it goes up um, towards the island. Where I'm hitting it, it's about, like I said, six, seven foot deep. And with this weather and the wind not being too strong down this end, it's an ambush point for me. I mean, the fish that I saw jump on this side, hopefully it will circle the island, but most carp do, to be fair, they love them. Circling, patrolling around, I'm eating the naturals off the edges of it. So that rod's in position and hopefully that'll go. The middle and the right rod I'm leaving, um, I'm not going to touch them until probably later on this evening. I've seen them, um, well, it's bubbling and fizzing out now just to the right probably about a rod length past to the right so i'm not gonna faff around and make too much noise no one else has made any noise today so i don't want to be the, the only one making too much noise um, down my end because it will just push them away from me so but, uh, we'll keep you updated keep your fingers crossed and see what happens it's looking good for it today though very low pressure quite warm not a lot of wind a bit of rain now and then to me that's proper carpy weather Fingers crossed. Woo. Well, it's half four. Nothing else has happened other than a bit of a liner bleep or two. It's quite dead on this end. There's a couple opposite. Um, there's two people down that end over there. Uh, I'm not sure if anything's come out. I ain't really bothered to walk around today. I'll have a walk about tomorrow and see if anything's come out. Uh, the wind's changed direction, it's going down the complete opposite end. It was going that way yesterday. No, it's going that way as you can see. So hopefully any fish that are down this end will come this way and try and be on the back of it. Well that's the theory. We'll see what happens. As per, we'll keep you updated and see you again soon. Alright, we've got dinner on the go. Um, if you don't know about it already, Go into Aldi, um, they do these little stir fry packs. They're absolutely mint, they're only like £2.69. Look at that. Sweet and sour pork. There is veg and everything like that, but I don't fancy the veg. Healthy eating me. And then I'm gonna let it cool off and I'm gonna whack it in a cheese toasty because I'm a legend like that. But yeah, £2.69, they do. Really well, I'll give you some sort of useful tips on this vlog because we're not catching anything. There's the other one. Chinese chicken stir fry. This one is absolutely banging. I'm saving that for tomorrow night. Carp, lovely. See the chicken and the vegetables together with that one. It's beautiful. Some rice as well, which I'll do with it. But I mean, I've done last night, I'm doing tonight three nights worth of food. Obviously, got snacks and everything as well, so it cost me like 20 quid. It's ridiculous, and it's all decent food as well. I haven't had this um, sweet and sour pork one before, but I'll let you know how I get on with it. Might as well enjoy some food if we're not catching no fish. Apologies for this vlog as well, it's probably not the best in terms of content, but I'm just getting back into the swing of things and hopefully next week if I can get back down we'll uh, get a bit more entertainment going. Do some star jumps. I'm joking. Alright, I'm gonna finish this off and eat this and uh, yeah, I'll come back to you later just before um it gets dark and let you know how the food was and if anything's occurred with the rods. So probably just how the food's gone. But I expect nothing less from the iconic Raysbury. If it was easy, I wouldn't want to be here. So, see you guys soon. Surprise, surprise, it's raining again. Absolute awful weather to do any sort of recording or anything like that. Basically been bivy bound most of the time. Hopefully we'll make up for it with a fish. Apologies for the plane. 
but it's good to get out. Those sexy rods down there. Loving the new bite alarms and receiver set. At least I know they're gonna stay absolutely fine in this weather because they're fully waterproof. Haven't seen any fish roll or anything like that. Been constantly scanning the water. It is what it is. Beautiful place and I'm so glad that I've got the rest of this season and then probably next season and then the season after that <laughs> at this place. It's such a lovely complex. And everyone I've met so far has been absolutely amazing as well. Roll on the future. Hopefully we can pop my cherry quite soon. It's been a while since I've had a carp. Come on, you silly pigs. And morning, everyone. I can only mean one thing, can't it? I've only got them bags on. She's down there. Popped her in the sling for five ten minutes whilst we get everything set up. Nice double row linear, absolutely melted off, and I mean melted off. First carp I've ever caught on um, braided mainline as well, so yeah, buzzing. That was on the rod that was um, the left rod, sorry, at distance towards the island absolutely hoofed off oh, I'm buzzing first session on it and I've had one so let's get her out and show you um, and then we'll get her weighed up and see how big she goes as well I don't think she's, she's not massive um, 20, 23 24 hopefully but who cares we've opened our account and it is a cracker oh, we'll see you in a second with the fish Just finished weighing her up um, and putting her back. 21 pound on the nose, can't complain. Lovely long uh, double, triple row linear, or whatever. The scales on it were ridiculous. I'm buzzing. I'm gonna leave it two hours and then I'm gonna redo all the rods and stick the rest of the bait out for the last night, but it's not gonna be a blank. <laughs> all right. When we're back in a bivvy, I'll show you the rig. Well, not the exact rig, because the hook's been sharpened and the, it's back out there, but I'll show you something very similar. Basically the same thing. Just a different size hook, I think. Smaller hook, the one that I'll be showing you. The one out I've got out there is a size four, because it's, it's quite weedy and there's some big, big fish in it, so a size four is perfectly big enough. So yeah, see you back in a bivvy with the rig. Now we're back in the bivy, I'll show you the uh, the rig that I used. Well, a version of it. It's a hinge stiff rig. Got the cam H2O 25 pound for the boom. Cam H2O 25 pound for the uh, rig section as well. And you got a trolley hook on there, that's a size six, but the one that I caught the fish on was a size four. Uh, flexi ball ring to attach the bait at the top. Ring swivel, anti-tangle sleeve, another ring swivel at this end. 
The Cam H2O is absolutely perfect for your boom sections. Perfect for your, your choddy sections as well. It's, it's mint. The good thing about this as well, it's it's almost like the everlasting boom section. It's it's brilliant. Obviously, you put your putty wherever you want. I usually put it here at the bottom of the um, choddy section, sometimes in the middle, just so it kicks and goes bang. You don't. It's not necessary if you've got a, a critically balanced bait, but I like it just so it all in turn kicks out every single time. Another good, good thing about this material. If you get a nuisance fish or something like that, typically a tench, then they always mess the rig up. I mean, look at that. You'd throw that in the middle, wouldn't you? Oh. Well, we could call it the spring rig. Be the new uh, craze. Spring our rig. <laughs> Not the spinner rig. Fuck off. <laughs> but no, I mean, you don't do it with your hands, do it with some rig tools because. If you slip, we all love our hooks to be sharp. That's going in, yeah. I learned that the hard way a few times. Got the rig tools. Other companies sell these. You can get loads of different ones. These are just the ones I prefer at the minute. Straighten her out. I always hold it for a few seconds. Voila! So even if you change the choddy hook section, you can keep the same boom. Mint stuff, give it a try from Rigmarole. You can find it either online or find your nearest stockist. Or if you can't find anything at all, just drop me a message on my Facebook or Instagram and I'll uh, try and set you up with some bits. But yeah, give it a try. Right, so I can't remember if I mentioned or not, but that scaly banger, um, 21 pound on the nose so happy days hopefully another ones to follow just walking captain handsomes back and forth try and get him go to the toilet and then we'll get back and sort the rods out oh, i'm absolutely buzzing oh yeah what a way to open your account I mean, there's bigger fish in here, obviously, but that's such a beautiful fish. I don't care how big they are if they look like that. Come on. Well and truly buzzing. Yeah, I'm well happy. I heard quite a lot of fish activity last night as well. From 12 o'clock onwards, which is when the... Obviously, the airplane stopped flying over, so... If they're coming to life at night time, I think the majority of my bait's gonna go out early afternoon. So it's fresh over the nighttime period. I don't know, I'll see, I'll see how I play it. Or I might stick it out now. Then by the time it gets to nighttime, it looks like it's been sat there a while and looks a bit safer for them. Probably, do, probably go with that option, to be honest. Hopefully trip up one of the bigger ones. I'm going to go with a, um, obviously I just nicked a bite on the uh, Sent From Hell white pop-ups. Excuse the airplane. Um, but this time around I'm going to go for the Match the Hatch um, Royal Marine pop-ups, the cork dust ones. Hopefully trip up a bigger fish. They might see the brighter colours and think, nah, I'm not having none of that. Try to mug me off with that for. And then, uh, <laughs> hopefully get a bite. But... Uh, doesn't matter because we're not blanking now so happy days shuffed right. get a bit of footage of uh, sticking a bit of bait out getting the rods done and then fingers crossed for another one right just redid the left rod um, put a fresh rig out on it obviously the same rig just wanted a nice fresh hook and everything like that on it invested a bit more bait into that spot obviously we've had a fish from there so I'm gonna put a bit more bait out on it and hopefully get the spot going a bit more um, like I said yesterday that spot to me is quite a good area especially with weather like this I mean it's warming up a bit now the winds calmed down it's flat calm on my side of the lake so that island is a feature that they're going to be circling around 
and hopefully finding my uh, rig. The middle and the right rod I'm going to redo in about probably about half hour to an hour. Stick the rest of the bait out on that and then sit and wait and see what happens. Um, the bait works pop ups. I mean, I did a test. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it. It was I did a test on the um, sent from hell pop up. After five or six days, it was still going. <laughs> I thought you'd tell what that would do. So I'm going to redo the rigs and everything now. And I know they'll be sitting pretty until tomorrow when I go. Uh, unless, of course, I get another take. But also with this weather, it's, it's the perfect, perfect time when the water's flat calm to spot fish, spot bubble, 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 spot bubbles, um, fizzing, whatever you want to call it, shows. So every time it's like this, I always keep my eyes, pe eyes peeled on the water and just scan left to right, left to right. I mean, obviously I've stuck bait out here, but if there's fish showing a few swims up and there's no one in it, and they're showing like galore, I'll move. But if they're not, then I'll stick to what I'm doing now. Either way, I'm buzzing. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing. That fish, of course, is a stunner. And to think there's fish like bigger than double that in here. It's unreal. Roll on the 40 pounders. Oh. All right, see you guys soon. One thing I'd thought would be worth pointing out, my middle and my right rod, I'm fishing open water, so I'm over here somewhere. Because it's not too far out, I'm pinning the, the um, braided main line down with some back leads. Whereas on my left rod, because we're all the way to the edge of the island here, I'm fishing a tight line straight through, no back leads or anything like that, because I want, obviously, with braid you get decent indication quite quickly, but I don't want anything going around the back of this island, so I want to get the bite and know I've got the bite instantly. Whereas with the open water rods, I can, like there's a bit of space where they can just fly about or go wherever they want. There might be weed beds and bits of bottle like that, but by that time though, I would have had the indication on the alarm anyway. These alarms quite good, the sensitivity is quite, well it's quite good on them to be honest. Uh, obviously it's nowhere near the delts because they're vibration, but for a roll, roll the wheel alarm, they'll do me nicely. It's nice to have a change up of the gear now and then. Excuse the aeroplane flying over. Uh, you can probably hear me again. Yeah, it's nice to have a change up in the gear now and then. This lake is so beautiful. I don't know if we can get around there. Steeped in history, this place is, and I'm, <laughs> I'm on it. Wicked. Right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a spider by his toe. If he squeals, let him go and catch a cup on that rod. <laughs> Right, it's going to be the left one that's going to go next again. I'm just kidding. We shall see. See you soon.
Right guys, so that's the rest of the bait gone out as you've seen. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, legs crossed, arms crossed, everything crossed for a bite. If we don't get another one, it doesn't matter because we've opened our account with an absolute banger anyway. But who knows what happens. The wind's changed direction again. I mean, it started off, I mean, it was first blowing this way. But yesterday it was blowing that way and now it's coming across this way. Whether that has an adverse effect on the fishing, I'm not sure. But um, one thing I'm sure of, the more I come here, the more I'll get in tune with it and sort of figure out what wind's direction to the best and where the fish are going to be the most of the time. But we'll keep you updated if anything else happens. If not, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs>